Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Sunday Million. It's the W Coop Challenge Series, event number three, two hundred and fifteen dollar no limit hold'em tournament. Ten thousand one hundred and sixty four runners, a prize pool of over two million dollars. First place prize scheduled to be two hundred ninety thousand dollars. Yes, you heard me correctly. Blinds two hundred fifty thousand five hundred thousand. As we start at hand number one of this final table, and convoy PC four. All in with ace four, more two five five, all in with the ace king. Convoy at risk and in trouble. That is convoy PC four eight six zero from Hong Kong. More two five five from Israel. I'm David Tuckman, and welcome to the highlight show, the Sunday Million W Coop Challenge event. Doesn't look like anybody else is going to call. Convoy going to be more than a two to one dog as we go to the flop. Moore, by the way, has about 6.4 million behind. Convoy with only 1.2 million. Astonishing numbers 10,164 entrants. Prize pool of over $2 million. Jack Jack 3, Convoy, has some chop outs now. Looking for a four or a three. And now a queen also will help him. A king's not going to do it, though. And Convoy PC from Hong Kong has gone in ninth place. He'll earn himself $14,229. And we are down to eight. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Jagabomb. Our short stack. Hoel from Germany, our chip leader. As we jump ahead to hand nine, you can see Sid5, the Canadian is now the chip leader with 26 and a half million chips. He's a micro stakes player making his first stab at bigger budget tournaments. His best previous cash, only $1,271, now guaranteed over 22,000. Jagabomb all in for under, or under seven big blinds. And uh, unfortunately for him, he is walking into Bally's 254's Kings. Jagabomb in a world of hurt with King-7 suited. Jagabomb from Canada. Bally-254 from Denmark. 7.9 million in the pot. And you can see Jagabomb. A long shot to survive this one. Looking for sevens or clubs. Well, there are the clubs. Bally with top set. Jagabomb needs a club. It can't be the Jack of Clubs. And it's the Ace of Spades. And a set of Kings eliminating Jagabomb from the tournament in eighth place. Jagabomb, the Canadian, takes home $22,360. He had cashed in the Sunday Million just one month ago. Came in 46th place. So he's on a good run. Blinds now 300000 600000 as we've jumped to hand 34. Hoel won. Raising with the Jack Deuce. Hoel currently second in chips. Behind Sid 5. Moore's going to pass. Cobra's got an interesting decision here. King Queen suited. He's going to call. Pot is 3.2 million. And he flops top pair. Not much there at all for Hoel. As you can see, only 3% chance of winning this hand. No spades out there whatsoever. Fairly dry flop. You expect Hoel to put a continuation bet out there. On a flop like this, you wouldn't think that it's going to help Cobra very often. And as a result, fairly easy to put a seabed out there. And sure enough, there it is. 1.3 million from Hoel. Fairly standard. Cobra makes the call. Turns the 10 of hearts. Hoel now drawing dead. Cobra's going to check one more time.
Hoel contemplating a double barrel. We can see that it obviously won't work. But he's going to try it. He bets 2.3 million into 5.9 million. And Cobra says, pot's big enough. I'll take it now. He moves all in. And this will move Cobra firmly into, uh, into contention as he is now second in chips behind Sid 5. Jump ahead a few hands, and you can see Sid 5 now with 32.2 million chips. And it was right around now the players decided to make a seven-way deal. We don't usually see deals with that many players. But the players decided to lock up the money. And in fact, all of these players guaranteed just about six figures. So we get a raise. We get a three bet. And skill poker could be in trouble here. The blinds are 400,000, 800,000. And he's going to move all in. So you get an open from the chip leader, which really means nothing. He could be opening very, very wide. The fact that Jay Sizzle, three bet, doesn't necessarily mean he has a huge hand. So I don't mind the shove by skill poker. He just got unlucky here. And there's a king, and not much there for skill poker at all. It means running cards, or he will be out. And sure enough, he will be eliminated in seventh place. Lucky for him, they just made that deal. And he'll take home $97,696 for his seventh place efforts. And we are down to six. Hand 48. Sid 5 continues to play aggressive. Raises to 3x. Large raise. Three times the big blind. Could see a shove here from Cobra. Sure enough, there's a shove from Cobra. Bally will get out of the way, and it'll be Cobra 15979 at risk. His tournament life on the line. Cobra from Germany. He final tabled a $166 tournament in June, finishing fifth in that one. And it looks like he's going to get a sixth place finish here unless he can catch a queen. On the river. And that, my friends, is not a queen. Deuce of diamonds on the river and Cobra 15979 is gone in sixth place. He earns himself $153,000. Let's take a look at the final five players. Sid 5 with $46 million. Bally 254, our short stack with $6.3 million. That's hand 48. We're going to jump ahead, though, just a few hands. See Sid 5 still pacing the field. With over 40 million chips, blinds still 400,000, 800,000. Once again, I welcome you to the Sunday Million WCOOP Challenge Event 3. I'm David Tuckman. If you have any comments, you want to say hi, you want to talk poker, tweet me at Tuck on Sports. And don't forget, the World Championship of Online Poker kicks off this September. Three weeks of out outstanding tournament action. Poker stars guaranteeing a total prize pool of $40 million. Bally254 all in. Sid5 makes the call. Jay Sizzle is probably going to move all in over the top. No, he lets it go. I mean, considering these guys have already locked up significant paydays, I think you've got to go with the nines there. Bally254, a two-to-one favorite. Jack77, seven, seven, two diamonds out there. Neither player with a diamond in their hand. Five of diamonds on the turn. Sid five, looking for an ace or a nine. Ten of clubs is going to double up Bally two five four. And I think Jay Sizzle has to go for that one. I mean, he already had six figures locked up because of the deal. And I think pocket nines in that situation, you just got to go with it. If you're beat, you're beat. Let me know what you think. Sid five. Raising once again the 3x. Bally 254. Probably going to move all in here again. He does. And now it's the question does Sid 5 call? Jay Sizzle, by the way, 
the Canadian who just folded the nines. Almost no online presence before this month. Go figure. Sid5 makes the call with ace-10. Bally254 at risk, but he hits his king. Sid5 hits his 10. And Bally254 looks like he's in great shape to double up once again and be our chip leader. And he is indeed our chip leader as the Jack of Diamonds falls on the river. Sid5 now in third. Now, if you want to play the Sunday Million for free, that's right, free, we give you that opportunity. But you need the password. And that's coming after the break. At PokerStars, you'll find more tables, more players, more games than any other poker app. We are mobile. We are poker. We are poker indeed. Welcome back to the Sunday Million W Coop Challenge event. I'm David Tuckman. Bally254, our chip leader at hand 58. The Dane cashed in the Sunday Million in October for $319. Before today, that was one of Bally's best online results. Blinds now 500,000, 1 million. More 255, all in with the Queen 8 suited. Bally gets out of the way. Hoel 1 with the Ace Queen suited. He's probably going to play this one. Yep, he moves all in for 15 million. Hoel has won a couple of $11 tournaments on Stars, but reaching this final table easily. Hoel's biggest accomplishment to date, and he's a 2 to 1 favorite to win this hand and eliminate more 255. Only one heart out there, 10 high flop, more 255, looking for an 8 or running hearts. And that's the best heart he can catch. It's a 7 of hearts, and now more 255 can also catch the 6 of hearts. He goes with the 5 of hearts, he makes the flush, and he's up to 23.9 million chips. Hoel 1 down to 4.2 million chips. And Hoel 1 picks up aces. He's going to limp in, try to trap. Sid 5, happy to see a flop. Unlucky flop for Sid 5 as he flops top pair. Can't, can't imagine a scenario where Sid 5 gets away from it. And in fairness, he shouldn't. Hoel 1 leads out for 1 million. Sid 5 raises. Hoel 1 re-raises. This is all academic. The chips are going in. There's the all-in. There's the call. Pot is 16.2 million. Sid 5 looking for a queen or a 5. Deuce of hearts on the turn. The river is the queen. The queen of hearts. And Hoel 1 eliminated in fifth place. He'll take home $137,000. Just remember, the buy-in for this event is 200 And a lot of these players get in for far less through satellites. Talking about life-changing money. Sid 5 raising on the button. Sizzle gets out of the way. Moore's not going anywhere. More three bets to 4.7 million. Sid 5 makes the call. Pot is 10.5 million chips. Ace 9 5, one diamond out there. Sid 5 flops a gut shot with backdoor diamonds. More 255, five, still in the lead. And a 3 to 1 favorite to win this if it goes to showdown. Sid 5 bets. I'm assuming Moore is playing this as a check call. And sure enough, he does. I mean, Sid 5 shouldn't have too many aces in his range. Because if he has a big ace, 
he probably would have four bet gotten it in pre-flop. More checks once again. Sid five continues to bet. This time two million. I don't really understand this bet. Betting two million into fourteen and a half million doesn't really accomplish anything. Five of hearts on the river. Moore's going to check one more time. And now Sid five bets five million. And a fairly easy call for more 255. As he's now up to 36.4 million, Sid 5 down to 10.8 million. Hand 66. Sid 5 raising again. Actually, pardon me, he's limped in. Limps in with the 10.9. Sizzle's going to shove all in. More with king-queen. So you get a limp, you get a raise all in, and you've got king-queen offsuit. And more lets it go. Bally 254 also folds. Back over to Sid 5. Something tells me this guy is ready to gamble. Yep, he makes the call. You could just feel it. You could feel like this guy was ready to gamble. He had all the chips earlier on, and he wants them back. Unfortunately for him, he's a huge dog as we go to the flop. Sid 5 is the player at risk. He's looking for a 9. And now only a 9 will save him. And that's not a 9. Four hearts on the river. Sid 5. The Canadian gone in fourth place. As I mentioned earlier, his best previous cash, $1,271. Today, he made $178,000. Blinds now $600,000, $1.2 million. More raising on the button. It's a min raise. I have a feeling Sizzle's going to shove. There's the shove with the fives. Moore's not going anywhere. Moore makes the call, and he's a 4-1 to one favorite to eliminate Sizzle 20. Ace high flop. Sizzle looking for running cards or a five. He's picked up a gut shot and needs a deuce now or a five. King's not going to help him. And Jay Sizzle, 20, gone in third place. He'll earn himself $127,000. And we are heads up. Qualify now for the World Championship of Online Poker. Only at PokerStars.com. Welcome back to the Highlight Show. There's the password to get in on the action. The online Poker Show free roll can get you into the Sunday Million for free. That's right, no money. And who knows, we could be talking about you next week. We're heads up for the title. More 255 from Israel. Our chip leader with about a 3-to-1 chip advantage over Bally 254. More, by the way, plowed his way through 12,000 players to take third place in an $11 tournament in January for 51,000. We jump ahead to hand 108, more extending his lead. On the button with the ace, Bally 254 with kings. The chips could go in right here. Don't forget the W Coop right around the corner. Poker Stars guaranteeing a total prize pool of $40 million. Sure enough, the chips do go in. More 255, all in. Bally 254 obviously makes the call. Pot nearly 40 million chips. And uh, Bally in good shape to double up. All clubs out there, nothing for more. As Bally 254 has the king of clubs in his hand. And now More 255 is looking for just the ace of hearts or the ace of spades. And that is neither. The queen of hearts on the river. And Bally 254 doubles up. Moore still with a 3-2 to two chip advantage as we move ahead to hand 124. Ace-Queen versus Ace-10. Bally could double up here again. You can see Moore 
added a little bit to his chip lead. He was on about $62 million last we checked. And the chips could go in here once again. A raise, a three bet, a four bet. There's the call. $60 million in there. And if Bally's ace queen holds up, he will now have a three to two chip advantage. He flops top pair. More two five five flops a gut shot to Broadway. He needs a king. A king will end it. Deuce of hearts, and we continue on. And more now behind his opponent. Three to two. Blind still six hundred thousand, one point two million. The W Coop main event. A $10 million prize pool. Satellites running around the clock on stars. The tournament could be over here. We get a raise. We get a three bet. It's nines versus sevens. And Bally just calls. And that's going to save more because I'm fairly certain if Bally were to... If Bally were to four bet there, I'm fairly certain all the chips are going in and this tournament's over. Instead, more 255 should be able to get away from this one now. He leads out for six and a half million. Bally 254 makes the call. Pot is nearly 30 million. Another overcard to the sevens. More checks. Bally now bets 13.2 million. And more gives it up. A three to one chip advantage for Bally 254. Let's take a look at one of our fancy little charts. Hand 130, Bally 254, the Dane with a 3 to 1 chip advantage. But we're going to jump ahead a few hands. Five. Nothing's happened. Let's get back to the table. Blinds now 700,000, 1.4 million. Bally raising. Moore's probably going to three bet this. This is actually the type of hand, king 10 on the button, where I don't mind limping in. When your opponent's a little bit shorter, it's the kind of hand that I really want to see a flop with, but I don't want to. I don't want to get three bet shoved in this particular spot. Moore actually just three bet. He had 20 big blinds. Bit of a cooler. Heads up, both players flop top pair. Moore leads out for 5.4 million. I imagine Bally is going to shove here. Yep, there's the shove. Moore makes the call. Pot, just about 60 million chips. And this seesaw battle continues. Bally needs a 10 to win the tournament and eliminate Moore 255. It's the Queen of Spades. And Moore now with a 3 to 2 chip advantage. Ace Queen, Jack 10 suited. There's the raise. Bally three bets. I have to imagine Moore's going to make this call. He does make the call. Pot is nearly 18 million chips. Bally a three to two favorite as we go to the flop, but Moore in position. We'll see how it plays out. King 10 5, a gut shot for Bally. More with a pair of 10s. And it goes check, check. Turns to seven of diamonds. And now Bally's going to lead out for 7 million. I don't think Moore is going to fold. He's not checking back the flop with showdown value so he can fold when a non-scary card comes off. 
And based on the way this one played out, if you're Bally, you've got to think that Moore probably does have showdown value. And he does make the call. And just like that, Moore with a dominating lead, now a 9-1 to chip advantage over Bally 254. Well played by Moore. By checking the flop with his pair of 10s, he induced Bally to fire at it twice with ace high. Moore all in with nines. Is Bally going to call? Bally does make the call. And this could be all she wrote. 22.7 million in there. More dominating lead. And no help whatsoever for Bally there. He needs running cards. A set for more, but now Bally's got a flush draw. Plus, he's open ended. And he hits the five. Never say die. Bally 254 catches running straight cards. Even though one of those cards was Moore's set. And Bally doubles up. Still, though, Bally way behind. Once again with 7-6 suited. This time he's dominated. You can see Moore, a 2-1 favorite to win the hand and the tournament right here. Bally with a gut shot. Backdoor clubs. Now open-ended. Looking for a 4, a 9, or a 6. 3 of clubs is not going to help Bally 254, and that is it. Bally 254 finishes in second place, earns himself $106,000, and our champion from Israel, Moore 255, wins himself $139,000. What a year for him, as he won $51,000 in January, altogether defeating over 22,000 players. Well, the Canadians and Germans certainly put on a show, but when it was all said and done, it was an Israeli who wins the title. Don't forget the World Championship of Online Poker right around the corner. Three weeks of outstanding tournament action. PokerStars guaranteeing a total prize pool of $40 million. Satellites running around the clock. And as always, the highlights will be here on PokerStars.tv. Until next time, I'm David Tuckman. Reach for the stars.